read it. Yeah, okay, Blaze Killer 514 <laughs> right now. Good morning to you. What's going on outside? We're tracking some cloud cover and even some light to moderate rain showers. Great news. Again, we can take and will take any rain at this point as drought conditions continue to worsen across Wisconsin. But this is just kind of the beginning of this weak area of low pressure moving its way northwards. More thunderstorm activity and heavier rain just outside of the Chicagoland area. So if you have to travel along 90 into northern uh, Illinois here over the next several hours, you're probably going to be running into this mess. But this is all moving very slowly northward. So that means, uh, you know, folks in uh, Lafayette, Green, Rock counties, maybe as far north as uh, Dane County and certainly parts of Grant County, we're going to be dealing with this rain through the late morning hours. And then it's really going to taper off and kind of hug the southwestern portion of the state. Upper 40s in Camp Douglas, and then we break into those 50s once you get into Baraboo, even further south, 60s, Monroe, Janesville, as well as Platteville and Prairie du Chien. You see it right over me, but uh, that was our little kind of push for the Storm Track weather app, the 27 Storm Track weather app. With these showers moving on in, why don't you take that with you on your phone? You can track out those showers with the interactive radar, and it will really follow you wherever you go, even if you leave the great state of Wisconsin. We got a little bit of fog towards Montello, certainly into Camp Douglas as well, also into Reedsburg, but many of us are just waking up underneath mostly cloudy conditions, and we're going to stay mostly cloudy to overcast throughout most of the day. Maybe some peaks of sunshine here and there, but for the most part, it's going to be kind of overcast with those rain showers, especially here through the late morning as that line of showers moves northwards, and then watch as most of that green kind of stays off towards the west there. So we're going to kind of stay there today, but but then we'll add back isolated rain chances overnight. Winds remain out of the south, keeping us moist. And then as we go into your Thursday, very similar to today, we're going to keep that isolated rain chance, not a washout. Not everyone's going to see that rain until we start to go into the Thursday night hours into Friday morning, seeing more green on that map, indicating those light to moderate rain showers kind of moving back into the picture. And you can see that here. We really see that tick in or that uptick in the rain totals as we go Thursday night into Friday. We're looking at about a quarter to a half an inch of rain, at least in Madison. Elsewhere, we could see certainly more or less, depending on if you get hit with rain today and throughout Thursday. Uh, but it looks like maybe we're going to cap out at about a, an inch to maybe an inch and a half if you're hit kind of all three days. Low uh, 80s to upper 70s. Fox Lake 81, Beaver Dam 80. Same with Columbus. We're looking uh, at mostly cloudy skies with a light southerly wind. 80 in Stoughton, 79 in Elkhorn, as well as in Madison. Watertown 80 degrees. Maybe a little bit warmer towards Prairie du Chien, but if we see that rain rain in that uh, in that rain cool there, maybe more of those upper 70s, mid to upper 70s. B Town 79, 79 Dodgeville, as well as in Mount Horeb. There's a look at your seven day forecast. We stay pretty warm through, I would say, Saturday, kicking off fall, upper 70s to low 80s, and then the first day of the new season, or would that be the second on Sunday? Regardless, we're into more fall-like temperatures, low to uh, uh, mid 70s with a rain chance again.